Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be doing my plan with me and this is in collaboration with Amanda from My Life Stuck on Paper. Uh, we are going to be using the Sadie Stickers Spell Kit and we've gotten this a couple of weeks back and we had told each other that we got this kit and we were like, wanna do a collab? And I was like, you know what? I have not done a video in a hot minute and I need to get into the hang of things, but I am so grateful that you guys have been keeping me so busy. Um, so that's why I've been a little bit absent lately. Uh, along with a couple of personal things that are kind of involved, but most of it is just being so busy that I just can't keep track. <laughs> um, and so anytime that I have to myself, I try to keep it to myself because, man, I'm always busy and I love it. But yeah, so this is a kit that we're going to be using. Make sure to check out Amanda. I will have her information linked down below so you'll be able to follow her. She is on Instagram and she is on YouTube. So you'll be able to get a good chunk of videos and plenty of photos to look at because she is bomb.com. So these are the full boxes, the functional sheet with the checklist, two half boxes, two payday, or two, wait, a payday and a day off and two extra flags along with four flags here, two flag labels, three heart or three bow checklist and two weekly trackers, new releases and plan next week. A weekend banner, which this is really cute. I don't know which one I'm going to use. Um, a bill due, habit trackers, um, date covers. Haven't used them in a while, so I don't know what they're anymore. Uh, quarter boxes, half boxes, and then some headers. The little things, washi, bottom washi, fl more flags, and then your icons down here. So I'm going to go ahead and use this kit. I did transfer over to a B6, all thanks to Amanda. To be completely honest with you, it is not set up at all, like whatsoever. I... I just can't get myself to sit down and just do it. Um, but yeah, so these little guys right here are from Knots at the Helm. And she has really good priced items and they're really, really cute. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see? Focus. Right here. There you go. Sorry about that. So that's really cute. Um, let's see. Okay, good. I was about to freak out thinking that I had to buy new inserts. <laughs> okay, let me just take this little guy out. So the way that I have this in is um, I put one in the back and I put it underneath here and then whichever one I want to bookmark, um, I put it in between that page. So that's how I do it. I don't know how other people did it because I felt like I was going absolutely nuts with just having it kind of like roaming around. So, yeah. Okay. So, I have my, my items here of what I need to do. Most of it is just printing and cutting and going to work. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, y'all got me so, so busy, um, especially after this sale. Y'all went berserk during the sale, and I absolutely love it. So it makes me happy when that happens because that means that y'all are really liking what I'm doing. So, yeah. Alright guys, so I'm just jumping right into my old habits of just doing voiceovers. Because if I talked the entire time, I either get really sidetracked or I just don't know what I'm talking about and it just doesn't make sense. So we just do voiceovers and I just let my brain do its thing when it's planning. <laughs> um, so as you saw before, I put on these glitter headers and they are from Blanket Planner. Um, I love those glitter headers. So if you're trying to look for some glitter headers, I would definitely recommend those. Um, so now I'm just putting the full boxes down. I always put the fancy schmancy one on the top left hand corner and then I just usually put everything in the middle. Um, 
but Amanda gave me a glimpse of hers and I totally think hers looks so much better than mine. So I kind of want to do scattered now, but it's already too late. She's trying to convince me to get undo, but I just, I, I don't know. I just, I, I do not know. <laughs> um, but as I was looking at, um, my planner or like my inserts while I was editing, I just realized that those full boxes are not aligned and it's making me upset. Like if you can see, it's like, the first half is a little bit downward from the other ones, and it's just not, ugh, it's making me mad. I was telling Amanda, the because Amanda and I actually became very good friends, and so we FaceTime nearly, like, every single day. So it's a, basically, like, a part of our daily routine, and we just talk about the most random things. And so uh, I was talking to her about um, planners and how, like, us as planner girls, we kind of drive ourselves insane with trying to make everything look really pretty and really aligned. And if it doesn't go our way, we get kind of upset of our <laughs> of our week or like our inserts for that or for like our weekly spread. And we just won't post anything about it. And I was like, isn't that crazy? Like in some sorts, that's kind of insane. And she's like, yeah, it kind of is, but still. So I think low-key, all of us planner girls are somewhat OCD. <laughs> so I brought in these really old washies that my friend and I got last year just to see if I could use them, but I didn't feel like they kind of flowed together. So um, what I ended up doing is I grabbed the two washi strips that came in the kit, and I put them um, on the edge of this the box and then um, cut off the extra. And then in the middle, I grabbed a Simply Gilded, um, I think it's 7 millimeter bow washi, and stuck it right in the center just to kind of make it look a little bit more girly. Um, I necessarily couldn't bring in black in this kit because it was kind of like an odd color where we could not tell what color this was. It was kind of like a, a grayish, greenish bluish tint it was just really weird and we were trying to figure out what washi to put in here and we just couldn't and so we I just decided to put in white I think she did too um <laughs> so that's what I ended up doing I just grabbed my white washi with silver bows and just slapped it right on top of it So uh, I decided to grab the two habit trackers and stick them onto the sidebar um, on top of everything. And I really didn't mind how it looked, but Amanda was like, mm, I kind of don't like that. And I was like, you know what? It's a my foot. <laughs> um, but now that I look at it, I put down one of the habit trackers cricket and now it's irritating me. So yeah, that's, that's how we go. But these are my stickers from Letters to Apollo. Um, so... That's the best thing about owning a sticker shop is just able to just, you know, grab a set of stickers and foil them in the color that you need. Um, so it's been really nice just doing that lately. Um, but I grabbed these mini flags from Clever Gal Crafts. I love these mini flags. They are like the perfect size. Um, before, whenever I would put my work label or my work script on top like it would lay on top of it but now these like align perfectly in them and I kind of just put them a little bit too high because the K is a little too big but yeah I'm planning to make these and a couple of other ones that I have a little bit smaller um just because I think that a lot of people would like them a little bit like smaller I don't think that they're too big um, but I've gotten a couple of people DM me asking me if I can make a couple of scripts a little bit smaller, which I understand because 
um, the swirls and stuff can make the script really large. So no hard feelings there at all whatsoever. Um, so I aligned those in uh, three different colors, as you can see, but they all kind of look very similar. Um, and I kind of liked that. I loved how that came out. Um, because I am shipping out as many orders as I can right now, uh, I put down that little girl with the little, so she's like happy going to the box and just putting something there. That's how I usually feel going to the box. Like I feel so accomplished when I get orders out. And then the little girl with the Starbucks, those two are both from the Whimsical Cat Studio. I really love her stickers. They're so cute to me. And they're basically like the only characters that I'm using right now. But during the PBC sale, I did buy some from Happy Daya. I think that's what it's called. Or Daya. I don't know which one it is. Um, so, yeah. I got those too. I love characters. I don't know what it is about them. Um, the bow is from Clever Gal Crafts. The heart is also from Clever Gal Crafts. And the arrows are from my newest addiction. So, just in case you were wondering. The bow here with the clip is from Fox and Pip. I mean, who does not know that bow? That is like the probably like the most well known bow. And these are um, marbled hearts from my newest addiction. And I really like these. Um, I, I don't know if it's just the shape or anything like that that I just really like. Um, but I put down a little pet paw because on Monday is the first day of Dia de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. And um, we're kind of throwing, kind of like doing a little thing here at home. We usually don't ever celebrate it um, just because I had never really lost. Um, well, also because we just never really practiced it either growing up. Um, where we lose a loved one and we also kind of remember them. I'm just more of a person that just remembers them all the time. Um, but the only close person that I've lost is my grandmother. Um, but this past year we lost Apollo, which most of you know. Um, but let me, let me get into this first. So the FaceTime date is from Letters to Apollo as well. The Squiggle is a, a collaboration between Rose Color Days and Nikki Plans. And the other um, flag with the bow is from Simply Gilded. And I ended up using the same character and stuff. And I'm going to end up using a Happy Halloween from the Rose Color Days holidays. Um, but like I was saying, we are planning to do a little, it's called an hacienda. And it's kind of where you put like pictures and like, things together of the ones that you loved that have passed away and you um, just kind of remember them. So we plan on doing that for Apollo and for my grandmother. So yeah, it, it kind of came to us after we watched the movie Coco and we were like, we should, we should probably start doing that. Like that would be really cool. Like I'm, I'm Mexican, so there should be no reason why <laughs> We aren't doing it. But in the United States, you don't really celebrate it as much as you do in Mexico. But um, in Mexico, it seems like it's only like certain cities that actually do it, which I didn't know about. But yeah, we didn't do it growing up. Um, So I grabbed the bow from Clever Gal Crafts and I really liked this label. So I thought um, I would just stick it down for something. I don't even remember what I'm doing because... I have everything put away on the side, but I grabbed these um, little waves. They're the planner sophisticate waves, so I'm assuming she drew them. So I just wanted to give you a close-up to show you the difference. Um, but if you have like a big spot that you need to kind of fill in, I would definitely recommend the Nikki plans. But if you have like a very small one in between, it would definitely need to be the plain sophisticated waves but yeah my registration is due and I hate it and I need to figure out a time to vote for um our new person I oh, I don't even remember what what it is but yeah I we usually always vote um and we 
educate ourselves and what we're voting in, of course. So, um, I think it's hard for us to really understand that we are adults and we should be voting. And a lot of people fought for us to vote, especially women. Um, so just make sure you go out and vote and you educate yourself and what you're voting for and not just vote for your party. Um, and just go for it, you guys. Like, exercise your civil duties um so i got this i like big checks and i cannot lie sticker from us from letters to apollo and i'm trying to like layer the bow in between so that's what i ended up doing and let's see it was the first of november which november is my favorite month besides september because that's my birthday month but November is my favorite because it's Thanksgiving and our anniversary in the same week. So I'm really excited. Um, we're going to be married for two years in November. And then in February, we'll be together for 10 years, which we were just talking about the other day. And we were like, whoa, that's insane. Um, the Hello November is from Rose Colored Days. Those are so cute and dainty. I would definitely recommend those. And the hearts are from Clever Gal Crafts. I feel like I can never get away from her hearts and her bows and her flags. Like, those are my go-tos all the time. Um, I ended up taking off that one because it was the same color as the one right next to it. And I wanted it to be different. So I ended up lifting that up and um, changing the color. And then... On the top, I will be putting another girl because I will be sending out another batch of orders. So, um, yeah, I'm, I've, I've gave an estimate of two to six weeks, which I know that's very like vague, but, um, life has been coming up lately and I just wanted to make sure that I just wasn't stressing myself out to where I like give myself a panic attack. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that I am working on y'all's orders and I am doing my best to get them out as soon as possible and I appreciate every single one of you that had um, shopped with us during that sale because I literally cried <laughs> uh, with the amount of orders that we got. It was just insane and I think I cried because I was just so happy with how much we've grown with we've only been open for what two months so it's very um it makes my heart very happy um so what I ended up doing there is I grabbed a label and I just cut it in half and then I put two little itty bitty bows from Simply Watercolor Co and made my own little small checklist so I really liked how that came out and here I was like I legit cut out like about six minutes of me going back and forth of using the weekend banner in the kit or using my own and Amanda was kind of like I think you should just use your own and I was like okay we'll do that <laughs> so I ended up doing that but then I got mad because you're about to see you're about to see so I was doing really good and then I was like mm, oh okay Yep, just ripped up that whole paper, but what can you do? And then I ended up putting it too high, so the K ended up going up to the the um, the headers. So I was just like, oh, this is just a hot mess, but I think it still came out really cute. And then my camera cut off, so that was fun. <laughs> so if it kind of switches out here, that's why. Um, so I ended up putting this girl down from Fox and Pip. Because I will be doing laundry. I hate doing laundry. And I also put down one of those little waves from the um, from Rose Color Days in collaboration of Planner Sophisticate. And here I'm putting the Texans game. We are going against the Broncos and we're doing so good right now. I think we found our rhythm finally. It's just that Fuller just got injured and I'm not happy about it. But what can you do? But yeah, I think this pretty much is going to wrap everything up and I'll talk to you soon.
It's a beautiful madness inside my soul, and I can't stop thinking of you. Walking on the lonely avenue, are you? Are you? Are you? My love so wild. Okay, so this is my spread. I. I'm kind of like iffy about it because I feel like it's kind of like all over the place but I really like all the foil that's kind of included into everything so um yeah I really hope you enjoyed and this is something um that's been like something that I've needed to do in a really like for a really long time um but I just never got around to it but I think I'm gonna just set myself some time on a Sunday to just go ahead and film, edit, and upload and get everything ready for you guys because I miss doing this now that I've like, I'm doing it, it's like wow I really do miss like filming. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing this weekly if not bi-weekly just so that I don't put too much stress on myself. But yeah, I really like how this came out and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time guys. Bye!